I suppose it is human nature to take things for granted, even things of great value. This is one of the lessons we learn from the story of the ten lepers. Such humble expressions of pure gratitude may seem as rare today as they were in this story, but when they happen, they touch our hearts and inspire us to count our own blessings. One example I learned about involved a man who lived in Africa. Because of a disability, this man had never been able to walk. He was forced to spend most of his time in his parents' home. Then he heard something remarkable: the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was bringing wheelchairs to an event not far from his home. Oh, how he wanted to sit in one of those chairs! How it would change his life for a moment if he could move about by his own power. He waited in line until finally it was his turn. Two men lifted him into a chair, and for the first time in his life, he was able to move freely. At first, he moved about hesitantly, but as he got the feel of the wheelchair, he moved more courageously. He turned, twisted, and sprinted. He waved enthusiastically with both hands as he raced past his friends. He flew. The look on his face was one of joy. After a time, however, he slowly wheeled the chair back to the others, and with an expression of calm resignation, he prepared to be helped out. "What are you doing?" his friend asked. The man smiled and shrugged his shoulders. "It is someone else's turn now," he said. The church humanitarian missionary knelt beside him and said, "This wheelchair is yours." The man couldn't believe it. He had assumed this event was only to demonstrate what it was like to ride in a wheelchair. Is it truly mine? He asked. Yes, but I have no money. It is yours. It is a gift from people who love you. When the reality of what was happening finally sank in. This humble man looked at his friend. He looked at the missionary. He tried to hold back the tears, but it was in vain. And as he wept, he laughed at the sheer joy of what he felt. His friend and the missionary wept with him. Thank you, he said in a whisper. He hugged them both, settled into his chair, and then, with a whoop, he took off again with a big smile. "I can fly!" he shouted as he sped back and forth along the pavement. This man understood gratitude. Have we ever felt such pure, unbounded thankfulness? I joyfully give thanks to God for His generosity. He saves us from loneliness, emptiness, and unworthiness. He opens our eyes and our ears. He transforms darkness to light, grief to hope, and loneliness to love. He frees us from a past of slavery and selfishness, and opens the path to a present of purpose and a future of fulfillment. This is He whom we worship. This is our God. This is the generous one. 
This is he who loves his children so completely that he offered his only begotten son that all who follow him will not perish but have everlasting life. May we remember our generous Heavenly Father and give profound and heartfelt thanks to our Almighty God who has given all of his children wings to fly. <laughs>